Intervene project is working to develop next generation tools to capture the genetic risk for various diseases. It's a combination of computational and statistical research groups, biobanks where we are testing these tools, as well as clinical partners who we are testing their implementation to a clinical environment. If we can do that, we can do preventive medicine rather than treating people when they develop the disease, which is often too late. We create new approaches that can help identify these people by using, for example, genetic score or environmental score or a combination of the two. Intervene altogether combines data from over 1.7 million individuals, which have been collected in different countries in different research projects and biobanks. And this provides special opportunities to really test this tool in both in terms of large-scale settings in various healthcare systems in various countries with individuals with varying background and varying ancestral information. Many countries are collecting or have been collecting in the past a huge amount of data. There is a need of project to put together people talking together, uh, thinking together and putting together the data. And uh, only by doing this uh, you can achieve major scientific uh, advancement. We use a federated data approach where the data remains in each of the studies, in each of the biobanks and in each of the countries. But the code or what the analysis are sent to each biobank and they are run in a way that can be easily combined. Traditional analytical approach, uh, they do not scale to the size of this data set and so we need to use machine learning and artificial intelligence to combine this data. So Intervene Consortium and Project altogether has 17 partners. Most of them come from Europe but we also have partners from USA. We have computational and statistical research groups. We have biobanks and statistical geneticists across Europe, as well as infrastructure partners who provide us tools, environments for computation. And then we have clinical partners who we are now testing in two disease areas. How should we utilize these tools in actual healthcare settings? If we are able to combine the common genetic variability to rare genetic variabilities, we will be able to understand the pathophysiological process of the disease and therefore the nature of the genes. We have taken two disease areas where we feel that the, the polygenic risk scores or the algorithms that currently capture the genetic risk have developed furthest. One of them is coronary heart disease and another one is breast cancer. And we've taken these disease areas now into clinical pilot projects where we utilize the genetic information alongside with the traditional risk factors. So the next generation of health researchers are, are going to need a lot of different kind of skill sets. Maybe not always the same person, but the teams doing this research. So, so definitely one area that's becoming more and more important is statistical and computational uh, skill sets. And we need IT specialists who can also cross the domain and work with you know, potential user groups from um, the healthcare space, whether that is healthcare professionals or patients, uh, citizens. A researcher in the next 10 years within genomics will need to have knowledge of software development, data science, biological do domain knowledge as well as we begin to integrate functional uh, knowledge about these polygenic risk scores. What I really like about Intervene is that I got to work with people from all, ar all across Europe and everyone is very motivated, is young, is excited. I'm motivated to do science because of its impact to people's lives and society. So actually seeing the fruits of all of our labor come to actually help people um, and help patients and clinicians. Personalized healthcare is already commonplace, but genetics is not often used in personalized healthcare. We need to show that genetic risk prediction together with 
other risk factor can really identify uh, individual at higher risk and that it can do that in a robust way across different countries and across different healthcare settings. Sort of the promise of the future of healthcare, personalized healthcare, is that we will be in the future able to give exactly the right treatment to exactly the right patient in exactly the right time for it to be most effective. So how do we then get there? is another question, but I think these tools that Intervenis develop will help us on the way there. <music>